So we're up, so we're up at 15,000 feet mm -hmm. at the moment. But what we're we aiming for? Over 20,000. Somebody forgot to turn the rapid on. So sounds quite nice. Can't really hear it. No vibration. Let's creep okay. it. Okay, so 21.6. 21.6, so, so that's, uh, that's about 80 cubic centimetres a minute metal removal rate. That's uh, starting to make people money. That's what it's about. But we're still, still bouncing under 100%. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. You do that all well, day. We, we've run this, haven't we? We've took 30 mil off in one go. So. Um, didn't change the edge. No, once. we're not changing the edge. So, no. uh, can we group it? Absolutely. Twenty-four and a half thousand feet now. Right. So now that's a hundred cubic centimeters a minute. As you can see, we're bouncing a bit on the uh, spindle load, but. There's a way actually we can we can we can bring the spindle load back down a bit anyway. Yeah. So listen for the noise change. Little bit of speed. We're back under 100 percent And the feeds and speeds that we give you in as guidance in the catalogue, you know, those are starting points. There are people who will run at over 350 metres a minute on this material. So, uh, well, so that is making people a lot, a lot of, money of money now, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, yeah. And that's, that's comfortable. As you can Beautiful. see, there's no sparks. We're not using air, we're not using coal, we're not using anything right now. See, normally you'd use air on that, just to get your chips that, yeah. out of the way, but yeah. we're not using anything. Possibly. You want to go some more? One more. Yeah, I think that's about right. 28 and a half thousand feet. 28 metres a minute feed rate. That's something else. And we're still not near the top end. Yeah. And that's actually faster than we ran it yesterday. Yeah, a lot faster. Because we didn't think we'd get it up that high. No. It's... it's a very strong tool. This now, is... There's a good thing about high feed. If I stop that right now, mid flow, could you put your hand straight on top of that block? The block, yeah. The block will remain because relatively cool. So the heat's the, going in the swarf. Well, but, I was going to say, where's, where's all the heat going? The swarf. Where does so, it go? So we've been going, that says five minutes, but we didn't run it straight from the start, so. There you go. Five mil in two and a half minutes. Yeah. Of a 250 bit, 250 mil block. I don't think there's many other ways you get that faster. It's serious metal removal rate on a relatively small spindle, you know. So, some people think that high feed cutters are for your big top end, absolutely singing and dancing machine. It's but it's just not true. Well, we've just proved it yeah. that you don't need an absolute top of the range machine nope. to get that sort of metal remove. No, I mean, I, I, seriously, I've got customers who are running on BD40, you know, um, low end machines. Uh, I've got people who are running on BT30 spindles and running our high feed cutters. It does not have to be a great big machine. You so just got to apply it right. So there you have it. If you, if, if you thought you couldn't run a high feed, we've just proved you can. <laughs>